analyst for the Utah Jazz broadcasts on television. Matt, of course, has plenty of basketball knowledge from his days in the league and covering the games, and he shares that with these kids here in his Back to Basics camp. Slide! Come on, slide! 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 Offense, you can't leave until it hits the rim. Box, box, box! Ah, uh, what happened? Did you box? How's it, how's it off? Did you box? Did you box? Do it again, do it again. I tell the kids the first day of camp, I said, You're, you have two goals here at camp. One is to have fun. Faster! Come on! And the second one is to improve. Come on, move, move, move. Don't cross your feet. Good. Uh oh, we got a race. We got a race. Who's going to win it? Who's going to win it? Good, good. Stay low, stay low. Good, 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 good. Good job. I don't care if you're already a good player of basketball. I want you to be better before camp ends. If you're just starting basketball, I want you to take two or three things home that you really remember that you want to go home and practice. So next year or next camp, you come back and you're better. What'd you do wrong? I think I... You didn't make contact. You turned and you went right here. You got to make contact first and go back. I enjoy doing this camp. I, I like coaching the kids. I think I have a lot of knowledge that I've gained throughout the years. Box, box, box. Get it, Dylan. Good job, Dylan. Good job, good job, good job. I've been doing this for nine years, and I think I got a good camp. I have a good mixture of fun, fundamentals, games, and then five on five games. So I think the campers have a great uh, opportunity here to learn and have fun. I got a great staff. They know my system, my program here at camp, and it turns out to be really good because they're a voice for me. And the kids, the kids love the staff. This is a really great camp. The kids get to come and learn on their basic fundamentals of basketball. Kids play five on five with the other kids, and they really are learning a lot. I think it's fun because you just learn a lot about basketball. I like learning all the new stuff that Matt teaches us and doing five on five. I learn how to like dribble with my left hand better and how to like do triple threat and stuff. He taught us how to post up on big guys. What did Matt teach you? He, he said he, he did he teach me how to post and um, how to like how to get the box and the box how to box out. You're about to shoot it. Shoot it. Shot. And see how I push you back. See that? Huh? See that butt go back in you and push you back? That's what you want. All right. Anytime you have an opportunity to play four hours of basketball that's structured is going to make you improve. And plus you're learning the fundamentals. A lot of these kids are young. You're never too old to get better. Uh, you always can get better. I went into practice every day as a jazz player to try to get better. And these kids, they just need to learn and then they have to take it home and practice. You're not going to wake up after having a good dream one night and say, I want to be good at basketball. It doesn't happen that way. But you got to start with the fundamentals, learning the correct techniques, and then when you practice, that's when you're going to see your progression. Here you go. Go get it. Go get it. Good job, buddy. Finish up. Good finish. Good finish. Good job. Give yourself a round of applause. You guys, two push-ups. You just lost. Two push-ups. Two push-ups. Two push-ups. Who knows? Maybe the next Matt Harpering is in one of these groups right back here. Well, every year, the jazz dancers hold their tryouts, and hundreds of girls try to become one of the next new skin jazz dancers. Not easy to make the squad, but we have some help for you if you want to get a leg up on the competition, and that is to attend one of the jazz dancer boot camps. It's not quite what you might expect. You would think that the jazz dancers prepare for the season by dancing. Up, five, up, six. But that's not the case. Before they dance, they get in some serious shape. It's not just cardio. It's not just lifting weights. It's a combination of everything. It's total body fitness. Neil Anderson has been with the team for the past three seasons, and he is in charge of making sure the girls are fit. After I was working with him for a little while, we did just a boot camp with the current jazz dancers, a little retreat, and I thought this would be awesome to do all the time. So now our workouts start with Neil. Every workout he works out with the dancers for an hour before we dance for three more hours. 
So just his whole process, it's just really unique. If people knew what went into making those dancers as fit as they are, they're fit. I'll tell you right now, there isn't a group of people in this state that are as fit as my dancers. They might be as fit, but they're not fitter. I had been working out my whole life and I thought I was prepared, thought I was ready. I came the first day and I remember I was just, I was like, holy cow. I had no clue it was anything like that. Um, I went home and I, I was in shock, but it's life changing. I think a lot of the girls have done tons of cardio in their life, but they come here and Neil is like hands on this huge weight and he's, we're like, what do we do with this? So it's definitely something new for a lot of the girls.